these are acoustics that I've come into over the years and have been somewhat obsessed with electrifying. Starting with this classical here, and I started off with using these Cremona NG1s. It's an under saddle transducer pickup. Does a pretty nice job of picking up the sound. I got very intrigued by this and thought, why not play this out even with this little toy? I thought it was at a half size or one third size. And that is also a Cremona pickup. It is the UK one. This is meant for a ukulele. Also an under saddle transducer. Well, since I had this one for quite a while, and I've had this one for many years, it's an old Ibanez. I dropped in this Fishman Rare Earth. And that's an active pickup. It does have a couple little, I think a three volt battery in there. There's a N pin jack. This was a Salvation Army pickup. It's an old Yamaha. I had intended to drop in an LR bags, which I eventually did. But at the time that I got the pickup, a studio that was closing and was getting rid of this old Yamaha as well, a 12 string. This is my first acoustic 12 string that was damaged. The soundboard was separating from the body of the guitar. Had a bunch of issues going on. And I believe there were some other tweaks needed. And the bags that I had initially intended for that other six-string Yamaha, I ended up throwing it to this one here. This is the LR Bags M1A. It's an active pickup. It uses a three-volt flat and drilled with a step drill and then uh, boarded out fully. I believe that was a uh, half-inch drill through the end pin hole and completed that to create the end pin jack. Did the same with this one. The Ibanez had, I believe, a slightly smaller drill space. Gap for the end pin jack was a bit smaller, but essentially the same. So I've got another one coming in today. That is the Gretsch Delta Lux sound hole single coil. That I'm going to drop into a Gretsch G9511. I'm going to show some video of that as well. Uh, hopefully I can get the process down in the drilling and uh, installation. Maybe I can do a time-lapse video of that one so I don't run on with this. Picking up where I left off. Just got the delivery of the Gretsch Delta Lux pickup. That is pretty. That's the Gretsch 9511 00 parlor style guitar. I bought this as a second from a shop out in Nassau County. I replaced the bridge that had been basically shearing off very slowly and put in one from the Stu Mac catalog along with a completely different saddle and anchored it down with those power pins. I thought it added to the articulation and sustain. There is debate about that from some corners of the internet. So that's, that's on you. I like them. This is the second guitar I've got them on. If you saw in the previous video, I had them on a Ibanez Performance Acoustic as well. Take a look at the instructions. That's not what I need. What size of a drill hole I need to make? I'm guessing it's at least a half an inch. My LR bags had half the inch as well for those M1As. Let me do a little more fishing. So based on the preliminary measurement, I gathered that this nut gauge is a half an inch. So what I'm going to do is take a step drill and broaden this end pin jack hole to a half inch and then I'm gonna push through with a half inch drill bit. But at first I need to widen the guide area with a step drill bit and proceed from there. So if you look at this drill bit here, there are markings tell you exactly how far a half inch is. Actually, it's the back one. Half inch is the back end of this bit. I'll get it up to this point. Once I can get this to fit into that slot at the halfway point, I can take a half inch drill bit, which would be one of these, and take it through. And then I can uh, bring that end pin jack through here. As you can see, I've widened the entrance 
for the half inch drill bit. Now I have to take the straight half inch drill bit, get it through to the other end. Let's make use of that drill again. Get a Phillips end off of that. Take one end right on through. Sure we still have take that I mean not to make it wider than the actual guide hole because that could be problematic so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that through and see if that worked out there we go <laughs> half inch wrench take it easy try not to over tighten you don't want to crack anything. After that, the strap pin, which should more or less fit over that. Although, to get more clearance on this, let's see. Gently, never over tighten. Next, you get these wires fastened down with the adhesive bits. You got these are little fasteners. You got a little felt in there. You can lock the cables in so they don't shake around and rattle around when you're trying to play. You know, I haven't even checked to see if the thing works. So, I've got a little Vox Mini 3 here. It does a little bit of modeling of some of the old Voxes. I like it. And it runs on a bunch of double A's. If you don't want to use the adapter, you can take it out with you. See how it does at the end. So the pickup is plugged in. First, just the sound acoustically off the board dry. through a condenser mic and now I'm going to switch over to the pickup So that was just a flat sound uh, with no EQing whatsoever. Now, I tend to, both in my playing and when I'm recording voice, I tend to raise the bass a little bit and scoop out the middle and put a little bit of edge on treble. With the guitar like this, it's pretty mid-heavy. And it is fairly bright, but I have flat ones on there, so that kind of doubles the sound a little bit. I haven't used any bronze strings on this since I put it together. Kind of enjoying the flat wound sound and it's... I don't really do any pick sliding and string squeaks and so on. I find it a little distracting at times. And this is a combination with the, the condenser mic and the pickup so you can get a sense of how they blend together. Um, I tend to use a bit of reverb, so if I 
jack this up a little bit. You'll probably hear something a little bit more my style. Let's see here. We have up the reverb a little. That's a lot. And maybe like that. Too much still. A bit of reverb. And if I put my normal EQ settings where I jack up the bass, drop the mid just a bit, and add a little treble. still rings out a bit or a lot pretty good sustain for a little parlor huh <laughs> 